So you've seen what the Leonardo has to offer, but we're not done showcasing high-end apartments in Santa because the Michelangelo is up next. But before we go there, let me talk a little bit more about this car. Now this car creates 156 horsepower and reaches a top speed of, I wouldn't say a lightning fast, but 190 kilometers an hour. But it doesn't matter because it's not about speed with this car, it's about comfort. You're gonna be wanting to go slow. You're gonna want people around you to enjoy what cars in the 70s looked like. Now, wood grain all over the interior. There's no radio. You've got analog switches for your aircon. Well, you've got analog switches for your ventilation because there is no aircon in this car. But it is still a real interesting drive. You feel so connected to the road. You've got a four-speed manual gearbox. No autos in this. And right now, we are driving through Santon this overcast day, enjoying the breeze and the soundtrack that that eight-cylinder engine creates. But before we end off, I'm going to have to take a right here, and we're going to be taking you right to the Michelangelo Towers. So don't go anywhere, because up next, we're going to be showcasing what a one-bedroom, one-and-a-half bathroom in the Michelangelo Towers looks like. But also, guys, this is a classic car, and I want to know from all of you what houses you think we should showcase if we do classic cars again. Right now, I'm sure you're enjoying the juxtaposition of an ultra-modern home with what a 70s car feels like. And I do like it. I think this is definitely how a, a lot of people enjoying these high-end homes would live. But what would you pair this car with? What homes would you pair this car with? And what homes should we pair classic cars with going forward? Write in the comments. I'm going to be checking all of your comments out and you never know. Your pick might be next. Welcome to another episode of the Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad, and today I'll be taking you around and continuing our tour of the most desirable zip code in South Africa, that zip code being Santon. We're in a tower that you all know, the Michelangelo Tower, in a one bedroom, two bathroom, or should I say one and a half bathroom, 4,950,000 apartment in the Michelangelo Tower on the 22nd floor. And look at how big this apartment is. This is absolutely massive. Right here, I'm standing in front of an eight-seater dining room table that easily fits within the apartment. It's so big, in fact, the owner told me you could easily convert this into a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bathroom. Now, let me take you, before we go into the lounge and talk about the incredible view of the 22nd floor, let me show you the kitchen, which is done up really well, and let me show you the bathroom. Here we are within the kitchen. Now, the first thing I want to mention about the kitchen is for this price point, this kitchen is by far and large bigger than anything else you're going to get, specifically for apartments and towers and apartments of this size. Now, the kitchen is mainly filled with laminate. You've got your melee appliances, both this side and this side. Melee oven, melee microwave, melee coffee maker inbuilt, which is epic. Then you've got your cooktop right over here and an extractor that does double slightly as an art piece with the way it's formed. Now we've got a sink behind me and another sink around the corner, which doubles as a pantry. Now that pantry area is where you'll keep your washing machine, tumble dryer or dishwasher. Another really cool feature about this kitchen in particular is it has a built-in water filter, so you'll never need to be spending money on that bottled water. Hunscro taps both within the kitchen and both bathrooms. Let's go take a look at those bathrooms. As soon as you come through the entrance door, you'll see a bathroom off to the left. That is a half bathroom there with very nice artistic sink, your floating toilet, as well as a vanity and a little bit of cupboard space. Now on our way to the lounge, you'll notice under floor, natural stone tiles. On my right hand side is a working area that you can use. It is also a full on wall unit. All of the cupboards are pushed to open. Above me, 
is a mural that we're going to talk about in the double level ceiling. So it's actually a sunken mural of the sky just above your dining room area, which is awesome. There's another wall unit built in just behind me on the right hand side. But here we are within the lounge. I was talking about a second mural. There it is just behind me. Really cool, super African touch in this apartment and I really like the different color it brings to it. The owner has also done something that maybe not a lot of people have done and that is mounted sound system speakers to the wall. So if you're watching a movie, everybody's gonna know about it. But let's talk watching a movie. Sitting down here, yeah, you're enjoying whatever's on TV, but I don't think anything beats the view off the 22nd floor. It is absolutely incredible. It's so good in fact, I can't talk about it just yet. We're gonna leave that for last. So let's go take a look at the bedroom. Let's go take a look at the master bathroom and then we'll wrap around and come back to the wrap around balcony. So coming through, you find yourself in the master suite and this is a master suite of epic proportion. Facing north, you see the most beautiful sunsets, which you are gonna see with us. But this master suite, like the rest of the house, has central heating as well as central cooling. The lighting is all done off of the switches on the walls and you even have automated blinds. I mean, this is living in luxury. Now behind me, you find yourself within a walk-in closet with plenty of closet space. If you're into fashion, if you're into clothing, this is exactly where you wanna be living. But this bathroom that I'm heading into right now is second to none. We have got a jacuzzi bath with a built-in window as well as a panel where you can choose your different settings. You've got a double vanity with a massive mirror, but the vanity just isn't a double vanity, it is a glass double vanity. Then we come to our shower, a rainfall shower head providing all the water you will ever need. If you're using this kind of shower head, you might be the cause, or my dam's always drying up. And then partitioned away from everything else, you'll find your toilet where you can sit down and just enjoy a little bit of me time. And here we are within the crowning feature of this apartment, the wraparound balcony. From the master bedroom to the lounge, you've got a balcony to sit back and enjoy. Take a look at this view. Behind me, the sunset. In front of me, the new tallest building in South Africa. And around me, the lower sand. And it is such a nice place to be. And it is quite a long drop from the 22nd floor. But guys, buying in the Michelangelo doesn't just secure you such an incredible apartment, it also gets you a bunch of other amenities. And those amenities are two gyms, two pools, an indoor and an outdoor, a spa. And when you come out of your apartments and go down the lift to your lobby, you'll find yourself directly in Santon City. It's a new way of living and an incredible way of living if I do say so myself. But from myself, Chad Viveros, from the team at Private Property, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of The Home Shopper Show. And we're gonna be seeing you next time. Goodbye.